down, safe and sound. Oh, the fire is burning here tonight. All is right. I am with you, darling. You and I. to unite cold and ashley in marriage. The Bible teaches in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and, and, you, and be united to his wife, and they become one flesh. The home is built upon love, which is portrayed in chapter 13 of 1 Corinthians. Love is patient, is kind, does not envy, does not boast, is not proud, is not rude, does not self, is not self-seeking, it is not easily angry, keeps no record of wrong. Love does not does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. And always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. Love never fails. In verse 13, Paul said, And now abide these three, faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. The Bible teaches that marriage is divine in nature. The home is God's gift for the man. Marriage is a commitment which is one man and one woman makes to each other and to God. Go. Away. Will you take Ashley to be your wife? Will you commit to your commit yourself to her happiness, self-fulfillment, and as a person? And do and, and to her do you promise to love, honor, trust, serve her in sickness and health? for better or for worse, to be true and faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Go ahead. Bless your heart. <laughs> With this ring, I pledge to you my life and love you only as long as I live. Since you have made these vows and by the authority of the state of Mississippi, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce that you are husband and wife, whom God has joined together. Let no one separate. Both, since COVID is active now, we don't kiss anymore, we just shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> you can kiss your brother, wife.
Begin. 